Hello, good morning, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, but I've taken a little break for the past week, and it's been really nice. I've just been really uninspired lately to create on here, which is very sad, but now I'm feeling a lot better. I think I just needed a little bit of a break to get back into it and to just feel more inspired and excited. This is one of my favorite videos to film every month. Today we're doing a little monthly reset routine and if you're new here it's more of like a plan with me but I reset everything on mainly my Notion because Notion is my my baby. I love Notion. Usually in these videos I reflect on the month before so this month I'm going to be reflecting obviously on May and then I plan out my June goals and then I reset my whole Notion, go through, fill in everything I need to fill in. Tons of stuff so we're going to get into it right now and I'm going to reflect on my May goals, see what I completed, what I didn't complete and just bring you through the month of May. May was a really good month. I feel like there were definitely some highs and lows, but overall it was a really good month and I am very proud of myself for May and the progress that I made this month and I'm just really excited about some of the accomplishments that I made. If you're new here, this is the Notion template that I normally use. I really, really like this. This is kind of the main layout of the template, but I have another little area that I go into for my 2022 planning. And first, what I always do every month is track my statistics. So I'm gonna go in and do that. I grew a ton this month on all my platforms and I'm really, really excited about it. YouTube, I am at 571, which is really exciting. I started the month at 512. So that's a pretty decent jump. My goal, we'll get into that, but my goal was 540. So I really surpassed that. Instagram. I am now at 9,116. That was my biggest jump on a social media platform this month and also just in a while because I haven't grown that much in a while. And then on TikTok, I'm at 1695. A lot of growth on all of my platforms this month and I am very, very proud of myself and very excited. Now going into my monthly goals for May, my personal lifestyle goals, the first one was to do seven to 10,000 steps a day, which I did not do. I also did not close my rings on weekdays. I've been awful at that. I just can never close my stand goal for some reason. I don't know if I'm gonna keep setting that goal. Three to four workouts a week, I did. So I'm very happy with myself with that. I was very consistent with working out this month and I was also very consistent with everything this month, which I think made a really big difference. Consistency was a big goal of mine this month and I was so consistent on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube until the end of the month and uh, with my workouts and everything. And that has made the biggest difference in my goals and everything like that. So my other goal was to drink enough water every day, which I feel like I honestly did this month. I didn't really track it, but I feel very good about how much water I'm drinking. I just fill up this water bottle like three times a day and drink it. And I feel like I've been drinking enough. My emotional support water bottle, 15 minutes in the sun every sunny day. I feel like I, for the most part, did that. That was a pretty easy goal, honestly, because I love sitting in the sun. <laughs> then social media and business goals, 540 on YouTube, which I did two videos a week which sadly i did not do at the end of the month i kind of ruined it because i took my little break but it was much needed honestly so i don't really regret doing that instagram post every weekday technically i did that because i focused a lot on reels TikTok every weekday which i did i actually did instagram and tiktok on the weekends as well so i was very consistent with that Speaking of consistency, my other goal was to focus on consistency, which I did, and start looking and applying for another job, which I did. So I added a new section at the bottom of my goals section for the month. I wanted to focus on writing down achievements and favorite memories of the month because I achieved things that I didn't necessarily put on my list that I really want to write down. So one of my biggest achievements this month is I hit 9k on Instagram. I'm so proud of myself because I've been working towards 
9 and 10k for so long and even just 5k i hit 5k this month and not that it's all about the numbers but when you're working so hard at something it's really nice to see it pay off and yeah i'm just very proud of myself for that i was also so consistent on instagram and tiktok which i'm really 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 proud of i'm gonna leave it at that for now and go back and fill that in later with more memories and things for the month oh i also i applied for a job which was a very difficult thing for me because i really like working for myself but i definitely need the extra income so i applied for a job now we're moving on to what my like to learn black and long for and if you've seen my videos before this is a template and you just kind of go through and write down what you liked about the month what you learned this month lacked and what you longed for and did my liked, learned, lacked, and longed for. And what I liked this month, really quickly, I'll go through it. I said beach days, swimming, going in the hot tub, in the pool, cause Justin, my boyfriend, his family got a hot tub and they have a pool and we had so much fun doing it. And the hot tub really relaxed me and I feel like it really helped me for some reason. So I really enjoyed that. Posting consistently on Instagram and TikTok, I think, that i really enjoyed this month and i've been having a lot more fun creatively i really have liked going to see the sunset it's been so nice every time we've gone and it's just i don't know it makes me feel even more creative and just like relaxed for some reason and then doing workouts in reps and sets instead of timed i had been doing a lot of timed workouts and watching a lot of videos where they have the timer going and for some reason that just does not work for me so i've been focusing on reps and sets instead of timed workouts and i've been really enjoying that lately so i'm just going to continue doing that what i learned this month is that consistency is so so key i have just been trying to be really consistent with posting and just on every platform and with my workouts and my healthy habits and i've seen a world of a difference in my mood and my motivation levels and i just feel like if i keep going i'll definitely see some sort of results from me being consistent and i'm just really happy with the schedule that i have with my consistency then also i learned to just take action on your goals and it is harder than sometimes just dreaming about it and thinking about it and it's really difficult to take action but you just have to do it so i learned that also i learned to create more than you consume I do feel like I consume a lot of content and I've kind of taken a step back from consuming so much and sitting there scrolling and tried to put more of the time that I used to sit there scrolling into creating and coming up with ideas and doing my own thing. I feel like you can come up with a lot more original content when you aren't really consuming quite as much and I've been really liking doing that. So then moving on to lacked, what could I have done better this month? I said mindset about numbers towards the end of the month. I was kind of fluctuating a little bit on some platforms and I was just like putting too much of my worth in the numbers rather than, you know, putting my worth in the content that I'm creating and really believing in myself. So that I could definitely work on. And then pushing myself to take action more like I was just explaining. It's really difficult for me to take action instead of just dreaming about my goals. And then longed for, I said, an apartment this month it has been very difficult for Justin and I in terms of not having our own place it's just getting harder and harder <laughs> mentally to you know not have our own place together and we really really want really badly to move out so that is obviously that's been on my list every month so far so hopefully soon hopefully we'll see so that is my may reflecting but then i just copy and paste my numbers into the beginning of june and then at the end we'll see where we're at with numbers for all of my platforms i explain this every video as a little disclaimer but i'm gonna do it again if tracking numbers isn't your thing and it doesn't help you and it hurts your mental health do not do it for some reason tracking them does not bother me at all I just like to see what's going on and be aware of my content and what's working, what's not, 
and look at my numbers. It helps me. If it doesn't help you, do not do it. Now I'm going to go in and write down my June goals. I already wrote them down in my notes. Some of them as I thought of them throughout the month. One of the goals that I have is to book a trip. I'm not talking about where or what it is. That's just one of my goals for June. So fingers crossed that happens. I will talk more about it when it's actually happening because it's not anything that is set in stone for any time yet. It's definitely occurring, but it'll make sense when you all know what the trip is, but I can't talk about it, but that's one of my personal goals. Another goal that I have under personal is to see the sunrise. I really want to go to the beach for sunrise, take photos, and then like go out to breakfast and then go back to the beach. I feel like that would be so much fun. So that's one of my goals for June. I also want to do the sunset. I think that would be super fun. The other goal that I have is to get a remote job. I don't really have control about getting the job, but I do have control over applying. So my goal is to hopefully get a job, but I would like to apply this month and really dive into doing that. I also want to read one book and I'm in the middle of the book right now. So I think I can finish it. I also want to do four workouts a week and then hopefully do 5k steps a day. I've been really inconsistent with getting my steps in every day so I just want to set the goal kind of low so that I can just get on a stepping streak again. Another goal, this is the last one I promise, is to paddleboard. I really really want to purchase a paddleboard this month. We will see. Justin and I have been talking about it but we haven't really decided if we want to yet because we don't really know good spots to paddleboard around here. We've, mo we've mainly been in this pond and we really want to go in different spots around Cape Cod and it just think it'd be so much fun. Plus we could vlog it for you all and I feel like that'd be really fun. For business goals, I want to hit 10K on Instagram. I also want to post two reels a day and three TikToks a day and two YouTube videos. If you're looking at this and you're like, oh my God, same. But also I am doing this full time currently and I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing this full time. So I really wanna take advantage of the time that I have that I'm doing this as my full time job. So I really want to just really post a ton and grow my platforms while I'm still doing this as a full time job. I'm really trying to be consistent as well. I'm gonna write that again for this month. Focus on consistency. We'll put 600 subscribers and then two to three in feed posts a week. I know there's a lot of goals that I have on for this month. Now I'm gonna go in and change the images on the front of my Notion page. I normally do this every month just to inspire me. So I'm gonna go into Pinterest. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, I'll link my Pinterest down below. I try to post a lot of my pins on there and also it has all of my vision boards, my posting inspiration for Instagram, just all of the behind the scenes stuff. I always get inspired from Pinterest and I get a lot of my ideas from Pinterest. I'll link it down below if you're interested in following me over there. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick the images for the front of my board. replaced the images on my notion and I came up with this one of some paddle boarding since I really want to do a lot of adventures in June I really want to go out on the water and do a lot of fun stuff and I'll hopefully get a paddle board and then down here I have this image which looks like Cape Cod and I really want to do a lot of fun Cape Cod activities this month. Also, I have in order to make your dreams a reality, you need to be willing to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. And I really like that quote. So that is pretty much all that I have for my June plan with me. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I really was excited to plan this month and reflect on May because I'm so excited for the summer. So I was so excited to do this video for so long. 
I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you're new, definitely subscribe down below so you can see more of my videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, so I'll see you all on Sunday.